Hi, my name is Paul and I like to go places. In today's video, we're going to be exploring an area called Pitten Lake. This is an area I explored a, about a month ago um, while we had forest fires going on and I was evacuated from my house and I got really bored so I basically just drove up and down logging roads all over the place. And it's a nice day out today so I'm going to uh, yeah, basically show you the lake. And I do also have an inflatable kayak with me, so I can't think of a better idea than taking it out on the water and potentially sinking. So let's go. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put a satellite overlay of uh, the area I'm in right now. And the, uh, the road to get to the lake, it starts off, you know, not too bad, but as you get closer to the uh, the lake, it does become a little bit more rough. And uh, I'm not gonna put like turn by turn directions in this video of how to get there because uh, it's not an official camping area. So places like this, I think they should, you know, be places that you explore yourself and uh, and find for yourself. So. Uh, I think that's exactly what I did, right? I just looked at the satellite view and I saw that, you know, there's this path that cut through the trees and I'm just gonna go drive it one day. So, and I, I think that's uh, for places that aren't, you know, wreck sites or official camping areas, that's really the best way to do it. I mean, it's obviously not a secret because, you know, this is a road that people have clearly been driving on and you can see it on the satellite so it's not really uh, a mystery as to what's up here but um, yeah and uh, oof, a little bit muddy there this isn't um, I mean it's a very bumpy ride but it's <laughs> I'm trying to say it's not terrible, but I keep kind of getting thrown around in my seat, so. <laughs> and the Jeep fits through here pretty nicely, although, you know, there's tree branches that uh, I'm kind of getting hit with. I think the uh, distance to the top from the logging road is about maybe around one kilometer. I, um, oh, I had my drone out just scoping out the area to make sure that there was nobody already up there because it is a bit of a, uh, a tight fit at the top where really you could only fit I think like one vehicle and there's not really a whole lot of space to turn around if you had to so um, I think we're getting kind of close to the top it's a little bit rocky right at the top here. Um, and there's, it kind of splits off into two directions. What you do is you hang left, I think. Yeah, if memory serves. And I think what I'm gonna have to do right here, um, yeah, we're basically at the top. However, um, it's pretty, rocky so come on baby there we go and activate my four low and let us climb over these giant rocks Whew. yeah all right here we go so what we're gonna do is uh, squeeze right in between some of these trees here. It's a very tight fit, but I've been up here before, so I know I can make it. Uh, let's see. There's like a tree stump down that I'm driving over right now. Yeah. Oh my God. Just put it over here a bit. And... Oh, yeah. 
So yeah, this is basically it, and I might as well just park right here. All right. So this is our camping area, and this is Pitten Lake. And on the satellite, I think it kind of extends further out that way a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So, one thing that's kind of interesting is, uh, look at this. <laughs> this might actually be handy when it comes to uh, trying to get into my inflatable, whoop. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot about that. This exact same thing happened last time I was here. I stepped on it and uh, it basically sunk down, so. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that I could probably, uh, somehow launch my kayak from here and, uh, explore the water, but, uh, let's just take a quick look. Um, so there's, there's really not much of anything here. There's, you know, like a fire pit here, but, you know, fire ban right now everywhere, so can't use it. And, um, someone's made something here. I don't really know what that was going to be used for. The last time I was here, there was actually someone had like a, a folding chair that was laying down there, and that's now gone. So, yeah, clearly people come up here. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is basically it. Um, there's no facilities here, so be aware of that if you are camping. Um, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> yeah, got to make your own arrangements for that. But, uh, it's a very, uh, very quiet area. And, uh, I really like it here. But, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, grab the, uh, kayak out of the back. And, uh, let's get to it. So the kayak we're using today is the... Intex Challenger K1, I have no idea. This was um, on a really good sale uh, over Christmas on Amazon last year. So it's just been sitting in the box the entire time since then in my house. So, <laughs> but yeah, we have, um, let's see, inflatable kayak and Come on, looks nice. And then I think this is the seat that we have here. And I guess instructions and little fin thing. And then we also have the air pump and the paddle. And it comes with a carrying bag thing too. That's kind of nice. So yeah. I will uh, start airing this thing up and uh, see if we can get it assembled. Okay, so I've got it blown up, as you can see here. There is a uh, seat that goes in here, and there's another blow-up piece that I just shoved in there. I didn't bother reading the manual to find out where it actually went. Um, and then the fin goes on there. And I do have the paddle assembled as well. So. Yeah, I'm kind of rethinking my life choices right now, but I think we are ready to risk uh, putting it in the water. So, <sighs> yeah, I guess uh, here goes nothing. Okay, I'm really hoping the camera angle works out decently here. I'm actually wearing the GoPro around my neck. <sighs> All right. This feels like a complete, oh, ow, stepped on something. I'm wearing some really stupid looking water shoes right now, so. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh boy, this is a terrible idea, Paul. What are you doing? Ah, oh, my God. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, I think I'm, oof. Okay, I think we are good. Hmm, haven't sank yet. <sighs> There's 
Hmm, the leg room is a bit annoying. Um, the oar is all right. I think maybe it would be nice if it was a little bit longer, but I can live with it. Wow. So like, I'm completely terrified right now that I'm going to sink. So, yeah. <laughs> this thing doesn't seem to stay straight all that well. And I didn't consider that I'd be getting a little bit wet from the, uh, the oars. There's these little stopper things that I think are supposed to kind of help block the water from splashing down on me, but... I mean, all in all, it's not bad. Oh, hell. I'm not sure how deep this water is. I don't think it's very deep, actually. Like, I can still kind of see the bottom. Um, and there's, like, plants that are growing up from the bottom. So, yeah. And I know how to swim if I have to. I would just rather not. So... <laughs> Let's see. It's a nice sunny day. It's a little bit chilly though because we are in the mountains and uh, yeah, high elevation. So I don't wanna get too wet here. And what is that? We're gonna take a little detour here to see, uh, interesting. I don't know if uh, this really fills me with a lot of confidence. There's uh, remains of a boat there, and I should probably make sure I don't uh, hit this tree. Yeah, so we have uh, the frame of a boat sitting right there. <laughs> it's interesting. And yeah, we are very close to the land, obviously, as well. Um, look, I can see... Uh, I can see under the water, the ground, and there's big rocks around here, so I should probably actually uh, not be too close. But anyway, let's just uh, get ourselves turned around here. Yeah, so this is kind of what I wanted to see, is the rest of the lake, because you can't see much just from the, uh, the camping spot. So on the satellite, I did see that the lake went on for a little bit out of the uh, of what I could see originally. So I figured this would be a nice place to uh, try using the inflatable kayak so I could actually get out in the water and uh, see further. So far, everything seems to be going good. The water is deeper here. Whew. I haven't kayaked in a long time, more than 20 years, I think, so. It's a workout. <laughs> And just kind of readjusted the GoPro angle a little bit. I don't know if it's going to make it better or worse. We'll see. Um, all right.
If I didn't have a boat that made me so nervous, I'd almost be enjoying this. <laughs> So I think the lake does go on just a little bit more over there as well. Hmm. I think we're uh, kind of reaching the end over toward this side. Okay, so yeah, pretty much the uh, end of the lake there. A lot of downed trees, so I obviously don't want to get too close to that. Very nice and peaceful here. Well, I think I'm just gonna kinda float my way back toward um, the Jeep and uh, just enjoy the sun for a little bit, so. Oh, what did I, oh. I think I just heard a fish jumping or something. Hmm. Anyway, I will uh, pick up the video, I guess, when it's time to uh, make my way out of the water. <laughs> if I can do that successfully. All right, so we're coming into the uh, dock there. Hopefully I can uh, make it out of here without falling in the water. All in all, I think this is a, a definite, uh, definite favorite of mine now. I think, uh, I can't remember what the price was on this. I think it was maybe like $100 Canadian or something. Uh, just like a ridiculous sale price. And I don't know, I thought it could be fun. And uh, what do you know, it was. All right. Uh, come here. So I think first, I'll just get the paddle out of the way. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't really know how I'm gonna do this properly. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get it soaked. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Whoa. All right. I only managed to get a little bit wet. Uh, and I got some water in the uh, bottom of the kayak, but yeah, I suppose that's not too bad. Well, there's our Jeep. I'm going to uh, deflate this and get all the water out. And uh, yeah, get everything uh, ready to continue off-roading. So funny story, as I was deflating this, I realized I didn't actually inflate it properly to begin with. This here is the only spot where I added air and you'll see it says the number two. <laughs> that kind of uh, clued me into something after I found number one, which is right in there. So that hole this would probably fill all of the, uh, the bottom with air. Uh, well, the bottom and I think like the sides a little bit. I didn't do that and I still managed to make it out on the water and back without sinking, which I think is pretty good. So, yeah. When you're, when you're buying something like an inflatable kayak where, you know, the likelihood of you sinking in water is real, you should maybe read the instructions. Because I didn't, and I only inflated half the kayak, and I went out on a lake with it. 
Yeah. Okay, so I think that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed exploring Pit and Lake with me in the inflatable kayak. Uh, as you can see, we do have plenty of sunlight still left, but it is getting a bit cold up here because we are, you know, like way up in the mountains right now. So I'm going to do a little bit more off-roading and, uh, you know, see what other places I can find to do future videos on. Anyway, uh, yeah, if uh, you made it this far, thank you for watching. See you later.